Is this your neighborhood for entertainment purposes only? Yeah. I'm on King's Highway and Avenue D. Yeah, you know, there's a whole bunch of new people in the neighborhood, man. Gentrification is going down hard body. But you can't have gentrification without genocide. They killing you guys out here in the neighborhood. Y'all guys need to wake up. They giving y'all gift cards while they still in your houses and they still in your property. Yeah.
you say, big bro? What you say, big bro? What you say? Yo, what's up, right? What's up, right? That's the gang stalker. That was the bomb man. Don't you know the bomb man was the fucking informant? That's the bomb man talking to me. The bomb man mad because I stopped talking to him because I found out that he's an informant. He's a rat. He's a snitch. He's an informant rat snitch. He worked with the police. Yo, you stupid. Use a fucking informant. What is he talking about? You're an informant. Informants that work with the police? That's an informant. C work with the police. All rights reserved without prejudice in all places at all times. See, I didn't know these people, man. I thought that nigga was cool. Me and him was talking about conscious stuff, health, wealth. I was asking him to come over so we can learn how to do day trading together and blah, 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 blah. Because I seen he wasn't making no money selling his butt. But he never wanted to come and do anything positive with me. So I used to be telling myself, like, all right, well, I offered to teach him. Well, I offered to fucking show him. I offered to enlighten him. But nah, man. It's a confidential informant. He worked with the police for entertainment purposes only. I had no idea. That's what I'm saying. Friends and family. I was wondering how they was getting a drop on me. And when this stuff first started happening, I seen them by my mother's house. Parked up. That's when I stopped talking to him. I seen him by my mother's house and he looked like he haven't slept in days. He looked like he ain't slept in days. He don't look like he slept in days. So it looked like he was camped outside of my mother house. So that's why I got spooked out, man. I got spooked out like a motherfucker. Cause my mother was acting spooky, acting like she don't use the phone. And then she talking mysteriously on the phone. Then this guy right here, see, from the hood, this nigga was parked by my mother crib. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? This nigga was parked by my mama crib. And it looked like he ain't slept in days. So I did the math like, yo, this nigga is following me. What the fuck? That's before I left. That's before I left New York. That's before I left New York. 